Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tony Needs Hobbies. My name is Tony and in the very nearby future I will be making a large batch of soap so I need some additional soap molds. That's why in this video I will show you how to make some nice wooden soap molds that are suitable for the cold as well as for the hot process of making soap. Have fun watching! To make the soap molds I made this plan that you can download off of my website tonyneedshobbies.com and don't worry I'll put the link in the description below. All of the parts will be cut out of a 15 mm thick plywood board. The front, back and the bottom are 90 mm wide and 300 mm long. The left and the right are 90 mm wide and 75 mm long. The grip for the lid is 90 mm wide as well and 30 mm long. So it would be wise to cut a strip that is 90 mm wide to start with. The lid is going to be made out of the same board but is 80 mm wide and 260 mm long so that it will nicely fit inside the soap mold. I have this leftover piece that is over 100 mm wide so first I have to cut a little bit off. To prepare for this I mark 90 mm using a square and a ruler. Then I mark all the cutting lines and cut all the parts to their size using a jigsaw. I try to cut as straight as I am able to and I'm quite happy with the result. Then after all the parts are cut, I will refine the edges a bit with a piece of sanding paper. This mold is a tool, so don't treat it as a piece of art. In this case, the purpose of sanding is just to get rid of splinters and very rough edges. Then I dry fit all the parts to see if any major adjustments are needed, which is not the case fortunately. Everything fits very well, so it's time to glue and screw it all together. Before screwing it, it's important to pre-drill the screw holes to prevent the plywood from splitting. I also countersink the holes, then I apply the glue and put in the screw. For drilling I use a ruler to make sure all the screws are at the regular distance so that the final product looks just a little bit nicer.
I repeat this process to attach the other side of the mold. After that I attach the grip to the lid. Measure this out very carefully to be sure that the grip will be attached in the center of the lid. And when it's all finished, I brand it with my branding iron. Well, the soap mold is done. Actually, I didn't just make one, I made two. So I'm very well prepared for future soap making adventures. I hope you had fun watching this video and if you did please hit the like button, please subscribe to my channel and for now I would like to thank you for watching, bye bye!